Hello everybody, this is Sarah Scopic and you're watching an episode of Kathy Rain. It's been a while folks. It's been quite a long time. Uh, I, uh, I think someone told me the last time I uploaded an episode was back in March. Oh, which means it's been several months since I played this game. But I did uh, watch a few of my old uh, cringe-worthy episodes, mostly the latest one, to kind of remember what's been going on, and what we learned, and all that jazz. So the main thing is that I have creepy dreams. I found that my father's part of a biker club, but they don't know what happened to him. He likely just left because he couldn't handle me. Um, I found out that one lady whose daughter died and had her painting sold and stolen by a rich man, um, that her son uh, apparently met the man, the red man, that we keep having appearances with, and I still don't know if he's entirely real or not, so that's great. Um, and I wanted to go to the church because apparently the person who asked the biker gang to steal those paintings was a priest. Whether it was Isaac or his father, who was a little sketchy, we don't know. So, I don't think I have anything else to do here, so I'm gonna leave. And I'm guessing I'm not going back to school. Oh, that's good. That usually means she's probably dead. I keep thinking we're gonna walk in here and she's just dead. Someday. It's gonna happen. At some point. Oh! Oh, good morning. Hi, Kathy. Eileen. What, uh, morning. This is... Wow, this is quite a surprise. That's one way to put it. You have such a lovely friend, dear. We've been chatting all morning. Uh-oh. Oh, I have no doubt. She's quite the talker, this one. Yeah. You sleep even longer here than you do back Shush, home. Eileen. Oh, gee, must be the blissful lack of distractions here. <laughs> Can I talk to you for a sec outside? Alone. Alone. <laughs> Okie dokie, if your grandmother doesn't mind being left all by herself for a while. <laughs> sure. You go ahead, children. I'll be right here if you No, don't be mad at Eileen. She's just trying to help. Oh, jeez. This is going to be so stereotypical. Get out of my business. Oh, jeez. Um, <laughs> this is not cool. Okay. I don't... I'm just going to tell her it's not cool. Don't... So it's my business. Hey, that's not true. It was a single morning devoid of Eileen too much to ask. Whoa. I'm frankly surprised that I'm allowed bathroom breaks by myself with you. Really, Kathy? I was super bored. What? Besides, you never got back home last night. I mean, that's I true. I sure could have at least called okay. her. I did. Well, as you can plainly see, I'm not a corpse. Why are you so mean to her? You could be a very convincing guy. <laughs> <zombie. laughs> okay. Funny. You can go home now, E. Fine. I won't tell you what I found in my research yesterday. Wait, 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 wait. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Wait, we're just gonna leave? No, we're not. <laughs> Ugh, I hate you. <laughs> I'm so glad you asked. I looked up a few statistics for this county, looking for any anomalies. Yeah, anomalies in First what? First off, there's a high number of missing persons reports in the area. That's very weird. That wouldn't be too unusual if, let's say, the county had a high crime rate. But it doesn't. But it doesn't. Yeah. Violent crimes are actually lower than Because everyone's, like, too counties. high on that weird plant. Huh. That's just outright creepy. But everyone keeps going missing. It gets even better. Yeah. It turns out that this county has the highest number of clinically insane in the state. That is kind of strange. And guess what? Conwell Springs County is tiny. Per capita, the difference to the county in second place is humongous. Oh, over a thousand percent. Okay. That makes some sense. I found out that this cocky person is locked tight at Ingstrom's. Oh, good. Wow, we should go talk to him, right? He must I mean, have he's a crazy answers. person. I'm not sure. I should probably fill you in on the rest I found. Yeah, probably a good idea. I need to get this so it doesn't go automatically because I can't I'm stop gonna it. head over there today and confront Isaac about the paintings. Okay, so we're going to see Isaac first. Don't you think it's a bit risky, Kathy? It could just backfire. Why don't you talk to off. him? Nice. Oh, I'm hoping it Christian will. lady. <laughs> good old provocation to make people show their true colors. No, Kathy, you might get hurt. You never gave him the picture of the lights, right? No, I didn't. Nah, I didn't want the guy to faint. He sounded pretty brainwashed about the Holy Trinity oh, thing. Geez. And none of the church people know who I am, right? Yeah. I guess not. So You're gonna say you'll talk to him, right? My point is that you grilled the priest good yesterday. You already tried it your way. Yeah, why don't we try it like a fellow Christian. Krishna Krishna. <laughs> Krishna Krishna, different. is that what they call that? Make up a cute cover story and pretend to want to join their church. Make up a cute cover story. If you still won't trust me, I can show him my copy of the picture. Maybe it will make him open up. Okay, just don't get hurt. I suppose it would give me enough time to drive back to the city and talk to Jimmy before it gets too late. Why are we talking to Jim? 
Yay! Oh, let's do it! I'm so excited. I can't wait to lie to people. <laughs> hey, you good Christian lady. You know, that's <laughs> that's right. Wait a second. Oh, I'm sure Jesus will make an exception this time. <laughs> After all, he loves me. Love I'm not gonna waste any time now. I let's love catch up on the phone tonight. Okie dokie. Jesus to loves later. me, so it's perfectly fine. It's all good. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. I need to... Can I get to a menu or something? No, I'm just gonna see a clinically insane person. Hello, Jimmy. I've been looking for you. Okay. Oh, is it for real this time? Y yeah. Yes. This is all very real. I think this is cocky, right? So you're going to ask me about Joseph How now? do you know? How do you know that? Who told Yo, you? Yo, what? You did. Every time you came here. What? You're not making any sense, Jimmy. We've never met before. I'm making perfect sense. Everyone says so. I'm the sharpest tool in the shed. What? All bets are off now, Missy. Better. Yeah, I don't like this guy. Get out, of here, get out of here. Get out of here. I don't like it. I don't like Forget it. Get out. Get out. Rules. What? No going from top to bottom. No checking off all the items. On what? <laughs> Start by asking me about the what? young. Why do you wait? Okay, is this some is this some weird meta thing where he knows how point and click games work? Because he says like, don't check off your list. Don't. I don't like this at all. Okay. Also, real quick, folks. I don't know why this... Here we go. No speech time. I always wait for mouse click. I'm not sure why it... I keep putting this on every single time. That's okay. All right. Resume. Okay. Oh, jeez. Let me take a moment. A few moments later. Okay. He wants me to start with the Chronicler. I don't know what he's talking about. The Red Man, maybe? Uh, okay, that's not the Chronicler. Uh, Lily Myers? He's Jimmy Crockett. Okay, he's gonna, we're gonna, okay. I'm gonna guess he means Lily Myers. Was Lily Myers the Chronicler? The drowned girl, yes. She saw the loops, the endless possibilities. She what found about? the branches had all been severed. Nothing but inevitability remained, staring her right in the eye. I still am waiting for this to become some kind of meta, like you're in a point and click game kind of thing. But maybe that's because I have too much Undertale on the brain. In the end, she was pulled across the Great Threshold, just like I was. I was next. I... You're not dead, though. Next for what? You're not listening. I'm next. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, Incident 81. Oh, 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 oh. Got it, got it, got it. Oh, 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 got it, got it. He wants me to actually ask an order of what, okay. What okay. happened to you, Jimmy? Why I have to ask an order place? for whatever reason. I'm not. I'm six feet under looking up. Watching reruns without a care in the world. He's acting as if he's already dead, and that's really creepy. You know, Joseph was a beacon. His passing sent ripples traveling in all directions. Yeah? Touching all of us with burning intensity. In my case, resulting in immobilizing. You sound more like a poet right After now. All, I sent him out there. It was all my fault. What? What was? What did you ask him to do? Be patient. We'll get there eventually. We need to follow the rules. This is really Let's creepy. continue, ironically, with the men who break the rules. Okay, we have to ask about the black hats. You mean the black hats? They're the men who break yeah. the rules? Indeed. Your father broke every rule in the book. Oh, uh, did, did he? he? That's a mild way of putting <laughs> it. <laughs> okay, I guess I think he did. I feel your pain. But you will be free of him soon enough. Why? Who, is he gonna die? Am I gonna die? I've seen you atop a great pit, dropping the last remaining memento of him into the empty blackness below. Okay. Your mother, on the other hand, that's a story with a different She's... ending. She's... she went insane. Maybe because this town? You no, know, Mom? How... how is she? Why don't you see her yourself and find out? I can't. It's complicated. Last time we met was she probably ugly. got upset. Looking away won't make it any less ugly. Kathy. I don't like this guy. No, He's really creeped me out. Not yet. How are you not creeped out right now? Very well. 
Let's go see the man you reunited with his family. The man you reunited with his family. Uh, who did I reunite with his family? What? I didn't reunite anyone with their family. I'm kind of... The red man? What? The man in red? Is that who you're talking about? How did I reunite with his family? Yes, indeed. What are you talking about? Is he really? The collector of souls. The one who beckons and So prepares. he's a weird... Grim Reaper. Got it. What? Some call him a spirit guide. Others, a devil dressed I'll in I'll go red. with the latter, thank you. You are doing so much better than the last time. Now, ask me about the first thing you can think of. What happened? Oh, oh, okay, so that was the right one. I just place. wasn't sure. Wrong time, wrong friends, wrong life. I'm feeling really weirded out right now. Wrong place, wrong time, wrong friends, wrong life. What? An unstoppable force meeting an immovable object. Okay. It had to be course correction, Kathy. The house always wins. What? What did you ask him to do? What did you do? I asked him to find the source and destroy it. For me. For Lily. For all of us. If this turns out that the stupid plant that's caused all these hallucinations is just making these people feel like they're in a meta point click adventure game, I'm gonna throw my computer across the window. I- The source of what? Uh, everything. The madness. The betrayals. The limitless suffering. Yeah. How would he do that? I don't know. Joseph had a plan. He had allies. What allies? allies? Who? The man in red. Someone else too. Oh boy. I found the message you left for Grandpa. You said, it happened to you too. What did? Meeting the lights, of course. Don't you have my picture from the night in the forest? Oh, so that was you your picture. Oh, yes. They felt so warm. I, so I just assumed the lights were some weird. Luring me in. Uh -huh. But when they got close, I could feel my mind split in two. Yeah, he looked the, the one guy I described was like a migraine. I found myself with one foot on either side of the line. The thin line between hell and here. Some weird portal? I don't know how to take so seriously to take like this. breathing through my nose with my mouth underwater. No wonder some sink beneath the surface, never to be heard from again. So you were drowning. Like Lily did. Was that what happened to Joseph, Jimmy? Did he sink to the bottom? She's a lot more calmer about this than I would have been. I wish I knew. I'm just a man stuck with his ear up against the wall, picking up a word here and there. Mm -hmm. I am so tired, Kathy. I can feel the lights even now. Yeah. It's static in my head, like a TV tuned to a dead channel. Mm-hmm. But what are they? Where do they come from? Are they real? The cradle of obscurity. The alpha to our omega. The distorted mirror. I don't know how seriously to take this. I don't know whether it'd be like, he's just crazy. It'd be like, oh great, we're dealing with dimensions and portals to hell. Why are you constantly speaking Because he's riddles? crazy? Why do you assume I have a choice? Mm. We are nearing the end. Ask me about the misguided faithful. Yeah, I can do that. Is the Church of the Holy Trinity uh, the 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 misguided of. faithful? They are, yes. What makes you call them that? Isn't it obvious? They believe mm. the lights are divine. Okay, I wondered about that, because the Holy Trinity, but then the... As Eileen pointed out, their symbol is not anything to do with the Holy Trinity as we know it. It has to do with um, the three lights. The lights are neither divine, nor are they're holy. They're just there, I guess. They are, but a twisted reflection of us. What? The judge and the jury are innermost child. Our greatest fear. Mm -hmm. Everything we long for and desire. The mayor of Ira said, wait. It's more than most of us can take. The cup runneth over. How do I stop them? You must go to their birthplace. Their source. You must go to the cradle. What birthplace? It's the only way to save your friend. What friend? What? Are you talking about Eileen? Yes, she is being claimed. She's in great danger. You have to go back, Kathy. 
What? I need more than that, Jimmy. What are you talking about? Let's help. He's doing that so I can get forced out, I bet. Um, okay, well, I guess. I need oh, to find sorry. Eileen. Oh, I bet, because I'm gonna go there and I find she's not gonna be there, is she? Uh, I just realized this is set up like just like my church at home, and now I'm instantly creeped out. Sacrifice kids. Um, open door. We're, we're just gonna burst down through. This is kind of scary. Wow, there's a lot of things here. Open closet. I don't need to look at it. I can see it's a closet. How is this not locked? Also, this music is creeping me out. Ah, good, good. Very important. Nope. What picture is this? That's right. Oh, cabinet. Open the cabinet. Figures. Look at the cross. True enough. Desk. Search the desk. We ain't got time for this. Found a large old key in here. Oh. Hey, what are you doing oh, in crap. here? Uh, listen, I... Cut the bullcrap. Where is she? Where's Eileen? What in the Lord's name are you talking Eileen. about? Eileen. Red-haired girl, I know she came here to see you. Tell me where she is, or I'm calling the cops. I don't think that's quite yeah, necessary. Where is she then? Uh. Breaking and entering, Shh. <laughs> oh my gosh, just take me to jail. <laughs> I could have just said that because that's really fun. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> you better hope that Father Price doesn't press charges. Whatever. I want my phone call. <laughs> Can't hear you in there. You are such a fucking prick. I mean, yeah. Enjoy your little vacation. I know I will. Yeah. Oh, jeez. All right. Well, this blows. <laughs> and I smell like the yep. man fucking. <laughs> All right. I need to get out of here. Who knows what that freak is doing to Eileen right now? <sighs> All right. Well, we're gonna try to figure out how to get out of this in the next episode. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you're still enjoying this. And remember, peace, joy, love, and quiet. Bye. Bye.